Hi, let's do a quick test of Catalyst Browse with ZV-10 camera. So you're out and about shooting with your ZV-E, but the ground is uneven and it looks like this. You have no stabilization, no gimbal. It doesn't look great. As you can tell, it's all wobbly. Let's pause it here. Let's go back and try a different method. So we're putting on active stabilization in the camera. It, the image jerks, it has weird artifacts, it shakes, it's blurry, and it jumps unexpectedly sometimes. No good. Let's try the steady shot setting. You can tell that the image is crisp, it looks way better, but it's still shaky. It doesn't give you the gimbal smooth kind of look. Let's pause it and let's go back to the no stabilization, but this time we're gonna pass it through Catalyst Browse. It has its disadvantages, but in terms of smoothness, to an untrained eye and to majority of the viewers, I think it's a perfect solution and way superior to the other two techniques. So let's go back and talk about some of those disadvantages. As you can see here, this is the crisp still frame, right? But Sometimes, because of the motion blur, the catalyst does this to the footage. So you can see it coming in and out at the blur here as well. If you take a look at the background and the details, even the face, which is not perfect. But like I said, to an untrained eye and for the purposes of web and content creation, I think it's great. In Catalyst Browse, all you have to do really, you can see those small icons next to footage. It means that it has gyro data. You just right click it, press stylize clip, and it works great even on auto setting. You can press manual, but for the purposes of this, I left it on auto. You just press analyze, it analyzes the footage and stabilizes it super quick. And you can see here side by side what a job it did. I mean, that's pretty good. Here we press export. I recommend using these settings, same as source. It's the safest option. If your camera is 10 bit, something else than ZV-10, then you need Catalyst Prepare which is a paid software. And uh, you also might need Catalyst Prepare for exporting more than one file at a time. So here, because you can see, I can only take one, but if you want to export in batches, then you need Catalyst Prepare as well. And let's just uh, fast forward through this. So some of the pros, you get the full control over the crop which is great, so we don't rely on the, the actual hardware to make that decision for you. Uh, so you have the gyro data in the file and it gives you great stabilization. It also can be used with a gimbal, which is great, and it doesn't give you weird artifacts, which is uh, what happens when you use a steady shot, for example, with a gimbal. It tries to compensate for some of your movements or even smoothen it further out. And I found that sometimes it gives you terrible results. So some of the cons are obviously you're cropping in your footage, it's not as smooth as the gimbal. It's also an additional step in post-production, so you cannot get that stable footage right out of the camera. And the main disadvantage is that when you're shooting in 1 50th shutter speed and 25 frames per second, you get the blur. There is a workaround. You can ramp up the shutter speed to get rid of that motion blur, but by doing that, you get rid of the cinematic look that you get by shooting with the correct settings. So it looks more like a video or like a mistake from my point of view. It might work for vlogging or shots where there is not a lot of movement or action, but it's very subjective and to my taste, it does not look good. Overall, my recommendation would be using Catalyst Browse with the proper gimbal. But if you don't have a gimbal, you can still get a good result by using only Catalyst Browse.